Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another Monster Spotlight. Today we have with us an Heavy or Navy and his Light Indra. So, this guy is probably one of the strongest nukers in the game. He does have Elemental Edge on his first skill, and he is a Hunter-based monster. So he's also light, which means he does have um, you know, Elemental Advantage against Stark, so we're going to be testing him out in B10. He's a really, really strong monster, has really, really high base attack, and he gemmed him... This 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 Light Indra is currently gemmed with Ruin, um, HP, Attack, and Crit Rate. I think these two gems also have some nice Crit Rate substats, so he's going to be doing a lot of damage. So we're going to have to maybe protect him a little. Obviously, if he's the only light monster in here, he's going to get focused down. So we're going to put, put in another light monster so he doesn't get focused. Um, as well as some armor break. And yeah, I should definitely put in some armor break. And, to, you know, to, in order to see his maximum amount of damage. As well as some sustain. So we're going to put in my July to make sure that he does stay alive. So this light Indra is currently um, at EVO 2 max level. And very, very close to Evil 3. Basically just needs one more Indra to get to Evil 3. So, yeah, definitely almost almost at, at his maximum potential. So he's definitely going to be very, very strong. So we're just going to go in with this team and we're going to see the amount of damage and stuff that he can do. Now, I did go with the um, light defense lead to make sure that he is protected a little. We don't want him dying halfway through the run. So we're going to turn off the auto, we're, we're actually going to turn this to one time speed. So I'm going to armor break this Moonflower, and then I'm going to hit him with the Light Indra, and we're, we're going to see how much damage this actually does. Now he does have Elemental Edge on first skill, so, you know, it's kind of a waste to bring him into a dark dungeon, but I did want to see what his second skill would be doing to a, um, a monster that he has Elemental Advantage against. Ooh, that was a lot of hits of uh, 12k. So it's definitely, definitely quite a lot of damage. It's gonna hit this B a little bit. Speed it up. Ooh, they decided to have two people hit him. But that's perfectly fine. I'll, I'll armor break the max HP one again. And then we're gonna hit him again. Yeah, definitely really, really consistent damage. Um, does have him gemmed up pretty well with pretty high crit rate. And he is a crit based monster because of his hunter on second skill. And light monsters do come with a base of um, a base of 20% extra crit rate. So you basically, with one crit rate gem, you're already at 70 something percent. So with the two other gems, he's already very, very close. I think he's like at 90 something percent. Very, very close to 100% crit rate. So in order to test out a little bit of damage, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually um, hit the, the monster on the side over here without armor break to see how much damage he does. So about about 7k a hit. I think that was about like 6 six hit, hits or so. I'm not too sure how many hits an Evil 2 Indra does. I probably should, but I, I, um, I don't. So the B definitely does have a little bit less defense. Damn, this thing, this thing is doing so much damage. But well, I, I do want to get his active up so we can see some, see some real damage. Ooh, I really don't want him to die halfway. Let's see if we can put some, put enough damage on this B. I'll heal him back a little with my July. Ooh, that is that is dangerous. Okay, he's, he might be a little bit too squishy for B10. At least with um, only two light monsters. I might have... Maybe I should have put three here. Um, but it should be fine, because I, I do have my July healing him a little bit. And I do have the shield from my Siren. So for the mo most part, he should be pretty safe. Now we're just going to hit this again. Um, generate as many red souls as possible to make sure he doesn't die before we actually get to test his damage out on the boss. Now, we're going to compare the damage. I'm going to turn this to one times. So there's two Moonflowers, so they're, they have the same amount of HP and stuff. I'm going to Armor Break one of them. And then I'll be able to use the AoE of the, the Light Indra, and then we can compare the damage on the two Moonflowers. Now, now this is probably going to one-shot um, a lot of things. 
Oh dang, that that was really really close. Um, I think at Evo three can definitely kill everything in just one one nuke, pretty easily. The the numbers were way too fast. I couldn't even tell how much damage that did. But that that even with that armor break, it almost like straight out one shot a whole entire wave. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually um, kill this thing first, so we can have more time with the boss. So you can see his damage. It's like 14, 14, 14k, like 6 or 7 hits. Indra's are definitely really, really strong for the fact that they, they, um, they do a lot of hits. So it's definitely something really, really nice. Yeah, this thing's pretty tanky. But we're just gonna just gonna put some armor break on it so we can have more time with the boss. All right. Now before I nuke, I'm gonna try to armor break the boss. See what we can do. All right, it's time. Let's do this. Well, I should probably turn this to one time speed. Ooh, that is like that's like sixteen hits. That's like eight or nine hits or something. That Indra's do so many hits. Let's see if we can kill this thing on the side. Less threat for all of us. Hopefully, my light siren doesn't die this turn. Please, not the siren. Oh, it's fine. I got my shield up. All right, let's just let's just armor break him again, heal up. And I'll just let let this light Indra do all the work. See if I can get one more AOE nuke off before the very very end. And we'll finish up we'll finish off the boss with that. Oh, I need some blue souls to go get into him. Oh no, please don't die from this. Well, he is gemmed with one slot HP instead of one slot defense, so he should definitely be able to, at the very least, survive this hit. Okay, I have the shield up. Now, I'm pretty sure this will finish off the boss. I'm not entirely sure, but we're gonna, we're gonna test this out. Okay, that was, that was a little bit close. Um... We'll just damage the boss one last time and finish the run. So that is pretty much it. That's uh, that is the light Indra. Um, he is very very strong. I think he's definitely like comparable to the light Garuda um, in terms of damage. But I think he's a little bit more versatile because you can you don't have to like you can he he'll do the same amount of damage not just in um, Golem's B10 because of his elemental edge. In B10, his elemental edge is kind of wasted, but you can actually use him in, in nuking other floors. You can use him for arena offense against all types of elements because he does have that nice elemental edge um, against everyone. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have, if you guys want to participate in the Monster Spotlight, then um, you can leave me a comment or hit me up on Discord. And... Yeah, it doesn't even need to be really. It doesn't need to be like super unique. It can it can be anything that you want to show. Something that you think um, would be interesting that you want to show the community. I'll definitely be able to spotlight your monster. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.